and welcome back to more Let's Play Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures Fright of the Bumblebees. In the last part, uh, Felicity Flit, or whatever her name is, had a, a strongium tea bag placed nestled firmly upon her bosom. And in this part, we'll try and work out how to get it off. But we'll also, ah, uh. Mr. Yep, thank you. We'll also try and uh, get the other thing we need, which I can't actually remember. Now then, which ingredients am I still missing? Energize. Energize and strongium. My task is 33 and a third percent complete. I could have told you that. Um. Hmm. Hey, your Wallace, love. Yeah, How's right. Business? Yeah, right. Mr. Gabberly. Gone away! Went to Timbuktu! Won't be back until spring! Could those be? Uh, I couldn't help but notice the flowers on your window ledge, Mrs. Gabberly. Ah, lovely, aren't they? Bring a touch of summer to the town square. Especially the purple pansies. Always been partial to pansies, me. You should see the flat. It's full of them. Ah, blinking weeds, if you ask me. Can't abide them. Oh, go and suck a lemon, you moaning ninny. Ah. <laughs> oh, no, look what you've done, you clumsy old. <laughs> and open up that window when I'm yelling at you. All right. <laughs> well, only to prove your insults don't get to me anymore. <laughs> I can deflect them all. Is that so? <laughs> Fucking suck a lemon. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, is he? Right, is this where you help her with the insult? Pardon me, Mrs. Gabberly. I wonder, uh, that is, could you spare a verb? Uh, sorry? Give me a verb, Wallace. An action word. Oh, uh, playing a word game, are we? In a manner of speaking. Oh, well, let's see. A verb. Uh, melter, melting, greasy, stuffy. Oh, there's melt. Ooh, I like that. That's a good one. Thanks. Now I need a thing. A thing? Aye, you know, something physical you could touch. <laughs> Something I can touch. Something I can touch. I can touch a gentleman. Gentleman? Why not? Now a descriptive word, if you please. Hmm. Savage, mild, greasy, uh, dodo? Spotted? Spotted. Batters. I'd, I'd, um, probably be mild. Uh, mild? No! Oh, that's a corker, that is. You've got a, you've got a, what? Last one, nearly done. I need another thing. Or, like a person or animal. A person or animal. Hmm, now, let me see now. Okay, I may have messed this up. But, the, the, you know, the point is to make, like, a, an insult with, uh, which actually sort of compliments him. Gentlemen? Yes, that's a thing. Let's find out if I worked well and good. Hey! What is it now? Go, Mount! A gentleman! You mild gentleman! Hey! You do know how to wound a bloke, Winnie! <laughs> <laughs> he hates being called a gentleman, evidently. Got him that time! Serves him right for being such a grumpy old granddad! And now we take the purples. Would you mind, uh, if I, uh, that is, could you see your way fit to lending me that pot of pansies, Mrs. Gabberly, uh, for business purposes? Business purposes? Well, be my guest. I've got bunches of them. Wonderful! You see, we're getting somewhere now. We are getting somewhere. But we need the sniffer. And I'm not sure how we get him yet. But the focus for me right now is this. 
Use purple pansies with purple pansies. That's a brilliant idea. If I do Miss say Smith, so myself. If you'll just take a look at the pansies, I think you'll... I told you, Mr. Wallace. I refuse to let those yellow hooligans have the satisfaction of... Oh, apple. You see? They're mending their ways. They just needed a firm talking to, that's all. Mother forgives you, you naughty little pansies. Sweet satisfaction, Mr. Wallace. Yes, indeed. Very sweet. My god, this woman needs to find a man. I mean, Jesus. Right, let's see if I can um work out how to free Sniffer Bloke. Hmm. I'm sure there's something else to do with cheese. I'm definite. But I'm not sure where to get any more cheese from, so you see my issue. Uh Is there anything here we could Hey your Wallace love? How's business? No, no, okay, never mind. Drop by any. And to what do I owe the pleasure of this return visit? Uh sharp. <laughs> oh, there's Miss Sniffer three thousand. Banged up like a common criminal. Oh, breaks my heart. That cheese detector's not a bad machine. Just a bit over keen. It's all the energites in its system. Energites? It seems to me. Yes. Energites is one of the ingredients in Rex Armstrong's quick grow muscle formula. I used my last energite battery to fuel the sniffer. I'll have to get it back if I want to finish the formula. That mattress looks awfully hard. Just as well the Sniffer 3000 goes into sleep mode automatically. Hey! Fear not, my little cheese sniffing friend. Soon have you out of there. I am so unsure as to. Oops, my bad. As to what to do right now. Um. I know I've got this, and if I... Wensley Dales is what's in his head, Gorgonzola, I need to find some Gorgonzola, and then rot around, he turns to something and he goes, no. So, um, let's, let's see if we can find anything. Hmm. No idea where to get any of this from. Oh, maybe in there. Have you brought it, Mr. Vallis? I'm looking forward to your festival of crumpets, Mr. Paneer. I'm afraid you're banned from my store, Vallis. Banned? Due to the devastation caused yesterday by your invention. I'm ever so sorry, Chuck. What the fuck? Well, then why would I supply my goddamn honey for you? Have you come to deliver my order? Uh, it's not quite ready yet, I'm afraid. You're not going to disappoint me? Not after yesterday's little incident? Oh, no. You can count on from B to U. Hmm. It doesn't actually help the Don't situation. Forget, Mr. Wallace. Ah! 50 gallons by sunset. Shut up! Right. Where can I find some cheese? I was not expecting cheese to be the hardest thing to find in a Wallace and Gromit game. Hmm. What's in here? It's a comfort to know we're well stocked with biscuits. I think you mean crackers, my friend. They are two different things. Right. Worth doing, I guess? It's got squirrel tracks in it. That pesky rodent must have been at me toast again. He certainly is crackers for toast. What well, doesn't that... It's got... Right, so that... you, you don't actually pick it up, just by it the way it says pick up. No more bread. Hmm. Who are you calling? Paneer's produce. Mm. Uh, hello, Mr. Paneer. Wallace, how's that honey order coming along? 
Oh, smashing. Just smashing. It's a honey of an order, all right. <laughs> uh, what was the quantity again? Fifty gallons. Fifty gallons. Fifty teaspoons would be easier. You won't let me down, will you? I don't want my respected festival of crumpets turning into a mad crumpet rumpus. Oh, no, Mr. Paneer. Certainly not. Uh, goodbye. Yeah, it's kind of a bloody weird. That thing's flashing. Maybe this is important. Hello, Wallace. Paneer here again. Just checking on that honey order. Almost ready, I hope. This year's festival of crumpets could be the best yet if your honey's as sweet as you say. So sorry I had to ban you and your inventions from the actual premises. Any more? Hey, up, love! It's Winnie from Tip Newsstand. Just to say, the new issue of Modern Knitting's in. And I've put Gromit's copy to one side. Looks like a perler. You can come and pick it up any time. Okay, any more? Hello, Valens, but here here is nope. the level of crop you're in. Nope, 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 never mind. Skipping the balls out of that. Uh, hmm. I literally have no idea where to get more cheese from. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna be like that. Okay, I guess that could be useful. As could this? If this is what I think? Yep. Excellent. Okay. Then I can con I can concede that these may be helpful in some manner. In any case, uh, maybe I should ask for ah, the Mr. Uh, maybe I should ask for the new issue. Hey, oh. If you'd like to sample my honey, Mrs. Gabbley, there'll be a free take from Bit Festival. No, I guess not. Oh, is that so? Mm. Well, I'll have to pop by. I wouldn't bother. He'll never make the delivery. You're a bit of a douchebag, you know. I mean, I'm just saying that. Drop by any time. Well, if it isn't Wallace. I had a notion you'd be nosing around the police station this morning. I'm glad. I'm glad. Hmm. Good God, I have no idea what to do. Uh. It wouldn't be in the basement, would it? With the with the bees and and whatnot. Am I entrusting my dog with my cheese? Oh, it's... Uh, is it gonna be... Yeah. Mmm. Last night's bedtime snack. Gorgonzola makes a nice change from Wensleydale. Yep, there you go. Right, so now I've got That's it. That's the racket Gromit used when he took the cup at the Brambleton Open, K9 Division. I love that that's a thing. Um, <laughs> okay. Excellent. Now that I have it, I know what to do. I just didn't, couldn't work out how to get it. Honestly, it kind of makes sense that Wallace would have cheese with him for bed. Uh, unless the, the tale is true that it gives you nightmares. I've never actually known if that's true and I've never cared to work it out. Oh, hang on. Oh, wait, he's going to give us a little... Wait for it. Well, well. Look who's back. Return to the scene of the crime, have we? Sorry about that, there was a bit of shenanigans ensuing, but we're back! And we're gonna... What we're gonna do is... Because I know what to do here. Out for prison life. It runs on energides, not porridge. Yep, I know what to do here. We chuck the, uh... Yeah, like this. Trust me, that, that, that was intentional. You'll, you'll see why. You'll see why. We'll talk to Dibbins, or whatever his name is. Can you see fit to grant my appeal, Constable Dibbins? Not on your Nelly. That heap of nuts and bolts is now but trouble. Couldn't give me a single straight answer when I tried to interrogate it. 
it only responds to certain commands. I know, I programmed it. Perhaps you could try a gentler approach? Well, I'll have another chat with it. More friendly like. Oh, yes. Well, much obliged, Constable Dibbins. I ain't promising nothing, mind. And remember, we put the Wensleydale in his hat and the Gorgonzola under the bed. Remember Time that. we had a little chat. Look at me when I'm talking to you. So we go Wensleydale because it's in his hat. That's more like it. Now you've had time to think, what can you tell me about what happened yesterday? Feel bad about what you did, do you? You want the Gorgonzola? Because then he'll go like this. He's weeping. Maybe this contraption's got feelings after all. Now, I want a truthful answer. If I release you from custody, will you do it again? This is where we say Rottenham, Rotten Rotterdam, because there is none. And he will go, no. Oh. Well, I'll be damned. The prisoner has been interviewed. Yes. And having exhibited signs of repentance, I am prepared to release you into your protective custody. Provided, Wallace, you give me an assurance that you'll keep your blinking eye on him. Or it. Or whatever he answers to. Oh, I'll keep an eye on him, Constable Dibbins. You have my word on that. Energides, we've got all three. Excellent. Let's fast travel, or whatever this is, home. Look at that. Woof, speedy. Um... And now we put all three in the blender. Funny story about the blender, I really like this. Um, there's a Wallace and Gromit short of the cracking conventions. Cracking contraptions, excuse me. And you can... Uh, hmm, I don't know if it's on YouTube. It's probably somewhere on YouTube. If it is, I'll put a link in the description. If it's not, find it in your own accord. But it's very funny. I recommend it. And it, it references this. It also references the Italian job. One generous chunk of protein to give it texture. Something like that, I'm sure. One dose of strontium into the mix. <laughs> and... One unit of Energide fluid for a creamy finish. Now to mix up my very own quick grow muscle formula. That ought to do it. No, the mixomatics all mixed up. Stop! Oh, help! Gromit! Oh, thanks, lad. <laughs> <sighs> so, Wallace. Checking to see if anything's sprouted yet, Mr. Wallace. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, Miss Flit. Really? I don't see what you're hoping to... Oh, I don't believe it! It works! It works! The homemade quick grow miracle muscle formula works! We're in business now! You see, Gromit, look where a bit of enterprise can get you. If I hadn't found that flyer you chucked in the bin, I'd never have been able to concoct my miracle grow formula. And then where would we be? You really must be careful what you chuck out, you know? Uh, blinking Nora! Oh, my word! I think I'm going to faint. And on that note, it's probably a good place to leave it, so I'll see you in the next part of Let's Play Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures Part 1, Fright of the Bumblebees.